We're making great progress on learning how to use the chat GPT with Blender to do, help us with our scripting. We're do, make, making some neat things. We've got some bouncing happening. We've got, we're adding more uh, spheres to it. So let's try something a little bit more com complex. But before we go any further, make sure you hit the like or subscribe to say thank you for teaching this little class on using AI with Blender scripting. Today I want to try something a little more complex. I want to try and get the spheres to rotate around a central sphere, kind of like a solar system. So let's see what we can get our uh, our ch chat GPT to do. So I went ahead and put the script in and I told it to change the script so that one sphere is orbited by nine other spheres, each in its own orbit. So, you know, simulating a solar system. This is what it gave me. Now, again, we've got a number of problems, number of errors that it generated, but they're all easily fixed. The primary error when ChatGPT is creating the sphere is using the parameter size instead of the parameter radius. So it, it doesn't mass matter that the variable name is being passed in as size. When we're creating it, the primitive UV sphere add, the size has to be radius. So I, we're going to make changes to that. Now, as I go through the script, you can see that, again, we ran out of uh, characters that are allowed. I need to figure out how to change that so that we can get some more characters and it actually finished the response. But we got down to the sixth sphere, so that's not too bad. Let's take a look at this inside of our code. So inside our code, I went ahead and copied everything over. As you can see, I've changed size to radius so that when the sphere's being created it uh, it can be done this had to be changed in two locations one in the function that is creating the spheres and setting up the the animation the second time needed to be handled in when it's creating the center sphere as you can say that's see it's creating the center sphere central sphere uh, again that was size instead of radius so that had to be changed in both locations then i needed to go ahead and add the additional I add the additional spheres. It only gave me the first six and not even all of the first six. So I copied over, added some more parameters to it so that it would be interesting. They're moving at different speeds. Let's see what happens. So we'll hit the run and then jump over to our layout and tell it to play. And as you can see, it may be a little fast adding some additional um, uh, additional frames to this would be interesting and it does restart each time it'd be nice to have an actual loop going a lot further with this um, which again can all be changed in your scripting because up here we, we set the number of frames to 60 you could go 120 150 as many as you want you want to go 300 go be crazy go a thousand so we created with a very simple script a basic orbit or a basic animation how cool is that tell me in this in the comments down below what you would like to see next for scripting what can we create with chat GPT or just with scripts you know I've been programming and scripting for a long 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 time and I'd be happy to share what we can do with that and see what we can make blender accomplish in very quick short time have a great day